First up, we kick off the tour of Dave's own home in Blackrock. This is one reveal that has been four years in the making. It is award-winning landscape architect Dave Franklin's own home. The gardens are as you would expect. They're absolutely immaculate with so much layer and detail. However, what I'm really excited about is his wife Jane's interiors. She has done an incredible job. She's made some bold choices and I think it's going to absolutely blow you away. Let's go and take a look. Dave, finally mate. I know. How exciting, Jane. It's oh, lovely to see you. Great to see you too, sweetheart. I'm so excited for this property yeah. reveal. It's been a long time in the making. Well, I've got to say, you know what? Good things take time, and this house has taken time. Not just like, right, we're going to go and renovate this this weekend. This is like something that's, you know, normally takes about a year and a half, and we're going to try and do it in six months. First impressions of the house is it's a bomb site. It's been an old house, we've had a few engineering issues. Every time you start pulling something down, something else hits you again and pushes us back another bloody month. Anyone who's renovated one of these, they'll know the pain that we go through. Is it possible to go backwards? Yeah. The next time you're down, it'll be finished, hopefully. Six months. Well, believe it or not, okay, this here, this facade here, took me eight times, okay? Fighting with Jane, and I've got to be honest, because the house sort of recesses back in there, but I was watching Narcos and uh, Pablo Escobar had arches and I well, he made $300 million, so I thought if it <laughs> might, works for him, it's got to work here. Renovating is stressful at the yep. best of times. Yes. And so, you know, you renovated through COVID. Yes. Um, and can I just say, we've had five moves during that period of time that <laughs> I have moved the house, not him. Now, anyway, let's talk about the house. It's not about the moves here, okay? But I can tell you something that is original, and that is my driveway here, okay? So that's the original part that stayed here. But we did have to do, like, new facade here, change the whole style of the house. What did I say? We went through Scandi, went through Boho, went through Hampton's. I don't know what you would say what style this is, but I was going to say coastal. Spanish. I'd call it Dave and James. Hey, hey. Yeah, probably. Well, I love it because the house is obviously a reflection of both your personalities. Yep. Yes. You're big, you're bold, yes. you're very confident, and you can see that you've taken some right. risk and it's all paid off. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, I'm surprised that actually the Mayor of Bayside has not come around and cut the ribbon here because everyone who's not in this street is sick of all the tradesmen out the front Look and us straight. pulling this down, putting it up again. And yes, it's taken a while, but you know what? We're done and we're off the street. So, you know what? To the Mayor of Bayside, we're finished. Well, enough of your work, Dave. Let's go and see what Jane's done inside, because that's what I'm most excited about. Thanks, Jess. I'm excited too. <laughs> Let's get in. The first impressions walking in are just, where do you look? There are so many features in this property. I absolutely love it. Stay tuned. We'll check out the rest of this amazing home at the end of the show. Now we can finally reveal the rest of Dave's own home in Black Rock, a Bayside suburb of Melbourne. The first impressions walking in are just, where do you look? There are so many features in this property. I absolutely love it. You know, I've got to say, this is probably the hardest part about building a house because the toilet used to be right here and that's the extension of the house here. So the hardest part was putting the steel beam through here. We tried to keep upstairs and in, in the end, we had to pull the top roof off, put that in. But again, all the design here, I mean, let's hand it over to Jane, really. So. It, it's been nice to um, be able to work with a, a bigger room, because our room um, previously was quite small. But now, it's actually all fitted nicely in together. I'm really actually happy with it. And I know there's a lot of stuff everywhere, but I like 
mess and stuff and I'm not one of those people that like a armor um, house that's got nothing around. No, it's we, lived in. This is your home. It's not a it's not yeah. a display yeah. home. Yeah, no. So this no. is your style, your personality is here. Yes. Your kids are on the wall. Yes, they they're, are. I, yes. I love yeah. it. It's so much fun. In and this we've home. got the leather couch because the dogs are on the couch. Yeah. Um, it all just fits in really nicely. Well. The kids come over. I've got teenage children now. We all sit around the bench here. We have a few wines and a bit of a banter, and it's just lovely. What we had here was pretty much like a rabbit warren, you know, and uh, during the build, yes, it did take me ages, Jesse, all right? But I'm blaming COVID for that. But to have like an open room here and then we've got a movie room, and I think one of the biggest things that I love is obviously having a cellar here as well. So we try to fit in so much in this house, and yep, we liked stuff, we didn't like it, then we'd rip it out and we'd redo it. I actually think the outside looks amazing and I have to say, give you a compliment Dave, it really does wow. suit this house and it's great for the children and even the, the dogs don't have real lawn. David gets up at 5.30 every morning and walks both the dogs, so at least they're getting <laughs> yeah. a run. I just want to go back there to, as a compliment to me. I, <laughs> want, I just want that validated, okay? So there you go, thank you very much and I'll take that's, this. That's the other so. compliment you'll get though, that, that's about it. <laughs> As you know, street appeal is so important in Melbourne and the amount of layers and, and different details that you have at the front with the balcony, with the arches, yeah. with the crazy pave, the landscaping, the palm, it really does tick all the boxes. Yeah, look, and that was it. Again, as I keep saying, it was built and designed on the run. You know, and yes, it did take a long time. I wouldn't say he was running though. It was on the run. And there it is. <laughs> so I thought I was good at one stage, but just went straight back down the bottom. You've had, one, you've had one compliment. <laughs> one compliment it's and then I started. four years, Jeff. Don't it's get greedy. It's right. been four years. <laughs> And you've made some brave choices, Jane, with the black Japan yeah. flooring, the black accent with the joinery and on the doors. I see some Graphico wallpaper as well, and the bathroom is unbelievable. But look, we had Beaumont Tiles come in and supply those tiles, which is not only just for the house, the bathrooms that they did, the pool as well. Uh, again, we had Damien from Graphico. You know, as we always say, look, it really does stand out. It does give you character in the house, and that's something that we do love. Yes, um, yep. As for Jane having the painting of my daughter here, she doesn't love it, but we love it. So. <laughs> yeah, no, she doesn't like it, but I, I love it. It's just uh, Leonie just down the road. She did this amazing portrait for summer, and I've actually got a portrait upstairs of myself because <laughs> I loved it that much. We did have Steve Bauer come in and supply all the doors here. They did give us two French sliding doors, and we thought, well, this used to be our laundry, and we had a company called Vine and Vault come in, and I've got to say, that is my favourite room of the whole house. I am in there a lot. Because can I, I can love I just add to that? I thought your favourite room in the house was the toilet. Because you spent hours it. in there. <laughs> can we just cut that? The house just continues to surprise me. I wasn't expecting to see these vaulted ceilings. I was going to say, well, this was one of the best things ever about our house. We had a beach house that did have this, but not six metre ceilings. Our last house used to be able to touch the roof like this, and um, obviously we had to pull the top roof off um, you know, to get the steel beaming downstairs. And then while we had thought that, we thought, well, you know what? Let's go as high as what we can. So we had V-Lux come in and obviously they've put Velux everywhere, so you could say this is a Velux house, obviously, but coming up the staircase and looking at this, you know, having the library right behind us as well just shows you how tall it is, and it just makes it feel a lot bigger as well, so that's definitely one of those things that I love. Jane, you've done an unbelievable job with all the bathrooms. Thank you. The tiles are all different. I know it's got some wallpaper, some Venetian plaster, yeah. and you showed a bit of restraint. You didn't tile floor to ceiling, which I, I quite like. Otherwise, I think it would have been too much with the ceiling height. And that's another argument too, Jess, because David wanted no. to tile from floor to ceiling with tiles, and I'm with you, Jess. It encloses the bathroom. Mm, the yeah. bathrooms aren't big, so I told him just at tap area so they're all waterproof but it works in really well because I like to see the the wall the white wall it's a nice contrast 
and a black bath. Haven't seen one of those before. I love yeah. my black bath. Yeah. So They're that beautiful. was from Shots as well at the same time. They yeah. come on board and supplied all the cabinetry and the bath. Dave, I knew you were good, but I think you've actually outdone yourself in this space, mate. It's unbelievable. This is about friends, family and fun. And you now obviously having some mature trees and letting it grow, so very happy with it. Uh, again, having teenage kids and uh, let's just say we have a lot of friends too. This gets used a lot. I will say one thing, because this house, every time I go away, whether I'm filming or doing something like that or working, I'll come back. This house is going all the time. The kids leave the pool and spa on 38 degrees. They do. The heating's on. But we actually just got solar put in. Energy Matters sorted this out. And I've got to say, having a $3,000 power bill, <laughs> that was our last bill. Didn't like that one. But having the solar now, I'm not looking at that. So, you know, thanks to Energy I Matters. I remember coming here, I can't remember how long ago it was, maybe a year or two ago, and first seeing this project. And what Dave and Jane had in mind looked absolutely incredible. The first thing Dave said to me was, Roche, I'm going to have a ridiculously high power bill. What can you do to help me out? Knowing Dave, who loves technology as do I, and also with a young family, it was clear to me that his needs would increase over time. So therefore his electricity requirements would gradually increase over the years. It was clear to me in our discussions that Dave was after quality and really wanted to be partnered with a quality installer who could actually sit down, work through the strategy with him and understand what his requirements were going to be, not just for today, but for the future. I had absolutely no hesitation in referring him to Sun Group Energy. Sun Group Energy not only do a face-to-face -face consultation to understand the energy requirements and what's our system, they also send around one of their electricians to do a site inspection. And it was during this site inspection the electrician quickly identified that that roof was certainly achievable to be installed with solar power, but it would require a little bit of extra attention. Now this included having scaffolding and just being super cautious and careful, as well as understanding where the existing cabling was and making sure the system was installed correctly with no visible wiring or cabling to keep the aesthetics of the property. Hand on heart, Dave and Jane, you should both be so proud of what you've accomplished here. There's so much love, personality, brave choices that you've both gone to here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really blown away by it. should be really happy. Thank you so much, Jess. It, it has taken a lot of hard work and I do congratulate my, my husband because he's done an amazing job outside. Um, but we're, we're very grateful and we're very happy with our outcome.